Hello friends, today we will learn about animal classification. See, the rabbits are enjoying under the sun. The dogs are sitting near the kennel and the squirrel is playing around the tree. You can see various animals here. Have you ever wondered how animals are classified in different groups? Let me explain all about this today. A group of elephants is walking here. They live and travel together in a herd. Animal classification is the process of identifying, naming, and organizing animal species into groups. They are mainly categorized into two groups, warm-blooded and cold-blooded. Let's learn about them one by one. Warm-blooded animals. Warm-blooded animals, also known as endothermic, are defined as animals that can regulate and maintain constant internal body temperature. This cat is shivering and making small movements to generate warmth. On the other side, some animals may sweat or pant to cool down. They can survive in any temperature range as they can adapt to it easily. Look at this bear. Bear is a warm-blooded animal. They regulate their body temperature through a process called thermoregulation. All warm-blooded animals are capable of adjusting their metabolism and behavior to adapt to different environmental conditions. Mammals and birds come into this category. A mammal is an animal that breathes air, has a backbone, and grows hair at some point during its life. In addition, all female mammals have glands that can produce milk, for example, humans and chimpanzees. Animals which live mostly in air, have feathers and wings and lay eggs, are called birds. All birds have wings, but some birds, like ostriches and penguins, cannot fly. Cold-blooded animals Cold-blooded animals, also known as ectothermic, can be defined as animals that cannot regulate their internal body temperature with the change in the environment. Reptiles, amphibians, and fish come into this category. Reptiles are animals that are vertebrates, have scales and lungs, and lay eggs. See the alligator in the sun? Reptiles love to sun themselves when they need to heat up. An amphibian is a cold-blooded vertebrate animal that is born in water and breathes with gills. Look at the frog. It typically lives on land, but requires water for fertilization and development. Fish are aquatic vertebrate animals that have gills but lack limbs with digits like fingers or toes. They do not generate heat internally and depend on the surrounding environment. Could you open the chart I had sent you? Show it to your friends. Animal classification, warm-blooded animals and cold-blooded animals. Mammals and birds come into the warm-blooded category. Reptiles, amphibians, and fish come into the cold-blooded category. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.